All right, so if you've gotten to this far, and we're going to do this next step of installing R Commander, and if you've gotten this far, that means you've installed R, you've installed X Quartz if you're on an Apple machine, and you've installed R Studio. Uh, everything's been pretty easy so far, and on this part, we're going to get a little bit more tricky. Everything's going to be a little bit new if you haven't ever. Uh, used R or R Studio before. So we'll go through, walk through this step by step and get you through it. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to have R Studio opened up and it should look like something like this. You're going to go over here to this little thing called Packages and you're going to click Install. Right here in this field, you're going to type. R C M D R. That's short for R Commander. Go ahead and click on that. Install the library and make sure this checkbox here is installed for install dependencies. Click install. Now our studio is going to go through and install a bunch of things and it's going to take a little while to get done. So you're going to see some red text show up through here and what this is is uh, just a text-based way to show you that it's downloading stuff and it's going to go on for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause while it installs and I will show you what it looks like at the end when it's all done. And okay, let this go and I'll see you back here in just a couple seconds. All right, so I've waited a few minutes and it's finished downloading our commander and my screen now looks something like this. You know it's done when you see this little right facing arrow uh, here at the bottom. There's no more text and you have a, a cursor there. Okay, so now we're going to launch our commander. And to do that, we're going to go over here to this packages pane again and go in the search field and type in rcmdr and click this little checkbox and that's going to launch our commander takes a few minutes x quartz is going to start up now that's why you have to download that. And let's see. Click on that. Nothing's happening there yet. Take a little while to load when it's the first time. Gonna close some of these other windows. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause and let my computer catch up, and I'll be back in a minute. So uh, you can hit pause in the video if you want. Okay, so I waited another couple minutes. And this screen popped up, following packages used by our commander are missing. Uh, so go ahead and just click yes, install these packages. And over here, just install packages from CRAN, that's fine. Click OK. And it's going to ask you down here, do you want to install from sources the packages which needs compilation? And just hit yes, or just hit Y, and return, and it will install some more stuff. Our commander is a, a great system to use. It just has a, a lot of components that go into it. It takes a little while to download, so I'm going to pause now while it finishes up downloading. Okay, so this is almost done, and I just remembered uh, yesterday I installed uh, X Quartz and all of these things the first time the other day, 
and there was a, another screen that popped up about uh, using X quartz for the first time or, or something and there, did you want to do this and just click yes uh, and sometimes it prompts you to, to restart the computer after you install X quartz uh, go ahead and do that um, but once you get through this and uh, installed all of these extra packages for R Commander, you should get a screen that looks like this. And once you do that, that means R Commander is running and you have successfully installed it and you are ready to go. And we'll go into class on how to use all of these things in here. Uh, but this is a great way to start using R uh, with this R Commander tool. So if you have uh, done all of these videos and all of these installs of R, X Quartz, R Studio, and now R Commander. You have successfully set up R and you are ready for the class. You just need to install uh, Nime. Uh, so go do the Nime video if you haven't done that yet and get that piece of software installed and then we should be all set. All right, uh, congratulations. I'm getting this more complicated install installation done.